Like to start meeting that door and uh, I'm going to the tower. Discussion already, Mr. Fox. Anything else you want to add? I, I do have on the right side uh, for those uh, for Elko County units, however, how many you want to uh, try to see what an X percent this might, might do. I'd be able to sell and just plug in whatever percent increase in the top of Yeah, I'd like to just review briefly, like with all these, the advisory report, we had the Elgin County 10%, we had that, the Lincoln County, we had three, uh, 222 early, they recommended 100 in that, we also had, and that would be a decrease of, significant decrease, um, and late to 100 as well. And I'm you know, you know, wondering a little bit about that. It looks like we're trying to actually increase the total number of tags. There's probably a good reason for that. And we've also got several other recommendations that we build those. And the White Pine County correction adjustment to 40. And I'm trying to figure out still exactly which unit that is in White Pine County. Also, on my, on my own um, numbers, there's a couple units I'm still not sure why they aren't higher based upon the write-ups, uh, the why the department's recommendations weren't higher. And that was the 078, uh, 105 to 107, 109, because the success ratio in that group last year, I believe it did not include 109 at that point, was 68%, significantly high, and we have a really modest increase in it. That appears to be a lot of elk in that region. Also, the 104, 108, 121, that was a 53% success rate. Um, you know, it went up a modest amount. Why well, wasn't it more than that, considering it's um, here, what the write up appears to be a lot, of, a lot of success? And I was also kind of wondering why in the 111, 112 late, which has 69% success, which is Great, that sounds like a place to put some tags. <coughs> Why we didn't have uh, more in there. Thank you. Thank you. Any other commission comments? Any questions? Answers from the department to those <laughs> concerns? Hopefully, it's somebody else's concerns we saw. Yeah, I, in, in answer to the 078 and 121, <coughs> we, we're probably not as aggressive in that in those areas. I mean, we, we're aggressive to keep those populations, but those populations are pretty much. At or below population of death. <coughs> they're, they're, not, they're not way over, so our, our intent with uh, those, those quotas is to maintain those herds where they are and not chase them like we are all, all the rest of them. Um, and, and I guess I will express one concern. I mean, the Lincoln County recommendation, Cal recommendations for 222, I, I appreciate that they, we appreciate that they put a bunch of tags on that, that late season to compensate for the tags they cut on the early season. The only thing the problem that Kurt really has, he's scared to death that there's going to be some big snowstorms. Keep the cow hunters from getting in um, and getting cows in that late season, and we're going to be in, in the same situ situation we are in Elko County. He's, he's a lot more confident that we'll be able to kill cows in that early season in, in area uh, 221, 222. Um, so that's, and that was his major concern with, with uh, Lincoln's uh, recommendation. Does that, does that answer everything, Scott? I, I think that basically covers it. Um, and what about the White Pines uh, recommendation and the other uh, Lincoln County recommendations that they had? There the several. Got on the sheet. I should get it up. Uh, you know, we certainly support uh, the Lincoln County recommendation. Uh, we certainly support the Elko County recommendation. 
supporting them would be the, well, the last two units on our list, 2.3 and 2.8 mid late. So you can support that 90 yes. and 170, but still have concerns with the 222. Is now. Uh, for the record, for that link uh, First, I'll, I'll address what we put in for 222 early and 222 late. Uh, the success on that hunt, they, they hover around 25 to 30% success over the last few years. And what we're, what we're trying to do on the early hunt is dropping it down to 100 attack. To try to maintain the idea that. that Sometimes fewer tags equals a higher percentage. You kill just as many with fewer tags. And then push in a 60% increase on the later hunt because it is a little bit longer hunt and, and try to work those numbers that way. The other thing you face on that early hunt is, is we're going to be dropping a couple hundred youth deer tags in that unit. We're going to be dropping uh, another 500 rifle deer, deer hunters in that unit at the same time. And some of those areas do get highly congested. And so we were trying to maintain that balance. We still believe that we can get a little bit higher success with the with the fewer fewer tags on the early time and then stacking that later on because it is a little bit longer and and cheap what we want to achieve. So that's that's the main reason behind that. Uh, on the on the 23 or the 231, 223 uh, mid and late, we just we just want to try to get a few more cows on the ground. Before you sit down, I think Commissioner Wallace has a question. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Corey, did you guys have any discussion in your meeting about that late season, like pushing that number up, if you do get some weather? Yeah, yeah we, we have all the time, and it is. Some years, we, you know, you get a November snowstorm or early December snowstorm in the floor, so um, to me, the weather's not nearly as big as issue, as big as an, of an issue as the wilderness. It's, it's the wilderness that's the issue on those, on those hunts. Uh, we, we, we talk about that all the time. Sometimes six inches of snow makes a better hunt than, than no snow, or you know we, we play that we play that game all the time. Um, we 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 were trying to balance the hunter quality on the front end versus trying to get, get you know cow elk on the ground, and so that's that's what our recommendation is. Commissioner McBeth. Uh, I, I see that you put all the tags in that late season. We do have a mid season. Uh, mid season. Uh, you see. Maybe uh, that we might want to put uh, some tags there as well because that way, you know, over the, both the mid and the late season, we have a better chance of uh, avoiding the storms in order to, you know, hopefully uh, one of those groups of hunters is going to get in the elk. 
speaking on behalf of myself, I, I think that'd be a fine idea if, if we wanted to maybe maybe bump that middle hunt uh, twenty tags or something. Let's let's do that. That's um, from from my own recommendation. Okay, any other questions, Court? All right, any other commission questions or comments? Commissioner Beth. I have a question, right? When I uh, looked at the hunt, the non-resident hunt, Calpianos, 42.81, what I see there is, is that we still have the old season structure. In other words, we created a, uh, in, in a I'm looking at, uh, I'm looking at my book at all. Didn't we have a mid-season? We, we didn't, we didn't place kind of selected uh, a few unit groups and a few seasons to start the non-resident cattle hunt off. And so uh, we didn't, we didn't okay. put I, I would draw a question like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mr. Walsh. Hey, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Mike, uh, what does the department feel about by adding those blue tags to that mid-222? Does that make it a little bit better about taking those off the front end? You know, I think so. I mean, if we stick with the 100 in the lanes, we're going to get 20 in the mid, and then drop literally down to 100. I think, I think we will get that. And then we'll, of course, the late season, would you still look at that for Oh, yeah. yeah. If we you go ahead and look at the recommendations there, add a 20 on this mid season, and then we got the 100. Any other commission comment? Any public comment beyond the discussion we had? Seeing none, I'll bring it back to the commission for a moment. Thank you, Fred. Commissioner Wallace. Thank you, I think just for the ease of going through this, I think we'll just start with. to approve resident elk antlerless any legal weapon hunt 4181 um, as presented by the department with the following changes. Um, unit group 061071 early to increase that 10%. Um, 061071 late increasing it 10%. 062064 066 to 68 early, increasing that 20%. 062064 066 to 068 mid, increasing that 10%. 062064 068 late, increasing that 20%. 065, increasing that 10%. 066067 late, increasing it 20%. 072 early, increasing it 10%. And increasing the rest of them from 072 mid to 104, 108, 121, 10%. And then moving down to 222 early. Reducing that from 140 to 100. 222 mid, increasing that from 62 to 82. 222 late, increasing that from 40 to 100. And then 222, 223, excuse me, 231, 241, 242 mid, from 80 to 90. 223, 231, 241, 242 late, increasing from 157 to 170. And leaving 223, 231, 241, 242 early as recommended by the Department of Heat. We have a motion by Commissioner Wallace, a second by Commissioner Morai. I have a question before we go further, Commissioner Cox. Uh, after unit 06678, 
God, 20% applies to 072. No, 10% 10 from 072 down to 104, 108.21. 20%, 20% would only be in 06667 late and 062, 064, 068 late and 062, 064, 066 to 68 early. So, uh, the 101 to 103 months. Oh, I'm sorry. Those Keep were 15 to, 15 to 40 on those two. I'm sorry, I missed out. Don't apply the 10, don't apply the 10%. Those four seasons. Correct. So 104, 108, 1.1. Uh, I have a question on that. It's my understanding that we went 101 through 103, the third and the fourth, or the second, third, and fourth hunts, it was just a misprint on the, from 15 to 40 and from 15 to 40. That, was that just a misprint? I would ask if you show that in the motion. Just because the printout does show 15, if you could recommend that one. To clarify my motion, 101 to 103, third season was uh, presented to us at 15, and it should have been 40. And 101 to 103, fourth season was presented at 15, and it should have been 40. And then we're gonna we're gonna add the 10 percent to that, or, or what's your intent on that, Mike? On that, Mr. Chairman, it, um, the only thing that's I would really prefer to see on this motion is there, and perhaps uh, maybe more specifically excluded for a reason, and that would be that mid hunt, the 0, 0, 0, 062. Is there a reason why we uh, excluded that from the 20% and kept it at 10%? Yes. The deer season, and to go ahead and increase it again. That's Discussion on the motion or discussion on what you see on the screen. Well, 
We're looking at um, our recommended quarter was just shy of 3,700. And if those changes, we'll be pushing it forward. <coughs> Any further discussion? Right. I like just in a positive light, it sounds like we're working good together. This appears to be an equitable solution to the problems we have. Hopefully, we can continue these high uh, rates in these problem areas until we have this um, until the problem is comes to bear and comes to resolve, and then it's resolved. Thank you. Thank you. Any further discussion? You know, and I'll call for the vote. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed? Most compassion unanimous. And we'll still have non resident. <coughs> you want to uh, make a motion on the board to get you on I'm sorry. in raising the uh, resident, you're going up 10% on the non-resident, do we have that demand? Or are we going to have tags out there that are left over that are going to go into a subsequent drop? I was going to have um, Ken Gray, they, they did get some, some non-residents calling in the office. Uh, you know, it's not the end of the world. Probably will have leftovers. Uh, we're recommending 101. Um, but I, when I was doing the math, uh, Ken and I were talking the other day. People, probably going to be a Californian resident that's going to be purchasing this package from the uh, They have to travel through Nevada to get to Colorado and Utah and Wyoming. Gas is not cheap. Yeah, the tags are $250 to $300. Out of that, the price is $500. And you add it all up, I would say we're probably still a cheaper destination. So, even if you went up 10%, uh, those leftover tags will go back to all residents and non residents in the second block. You will be accused of wanting to grab another. 30 some bucks out of his wallet because they're saying, well, wait a minute, looking for that unit first while well, I was unsuccessful, and now there's tags left over. I mean, this seems like a chance. But uh, we weathered that before. I just want to bring it to the president's attention that that's the problem in the Any further discussion? Mr. Rain. Um, uh, see, we need to go into the muzzleloader and longbow hunts here and just in discussion before we get into motion on it, it would seem appropriate to me, especially in the muzzleloader hunt that has actually a higher success rate than the illegal weapon hunt, that those effect, reflect those same unit groups as a 10% increase there as well, and 20% in the, I'm just going to have a discussion to get the motion straight. If I was going to put 20% in something, it would be the zero, the unit group starting 0626466668 here in the muzzle loader and 10% in all those others there in the start as well, 06171, all the 07s, I think it starts with 07, and one that begins with 104. I'm just trying to go over it. We went up that. That would make it consistent. Is anybody uh, looking at it? Okay. And with that in mind, I'd be ready to make most of that back. Okay. Move to approve resident elk at Willis muzzle loader hunt 4176 with the follow as presented by the department with following modifications. And that is in unit 061071, increase 10% over the proposed quota. Unit group 062064066068, increase that 20% over the proposed quota. 
as well as the group 078 101, 105 through 107, and 109, and the group 104, 108, and 121, all 10% above the proposed quota. Everything else is proposed by the department. Second. The motion by Commissioner Reigns, and by Commissioner Moran, and for your discussion. Vote, vote, vote. Vote, vote, vote. Aye. 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 All opposed? Most of that's unanimous. Commissioner Wallace. I just want to make sure we don't overlook uh, depredation of 4107. Move to 4107 as presented by the department. We have a motion by Commissioner Rain, seconded by Commissioner Moran. Any further discussion? And then all in favor? Aye. All opposed? Motion passed unanimous. March 8, 4111. Mm -hmm. um, my only question is, again, I mean, my tendency would be to increase the quotas, but when I'm looking at her success at Teens zero in a couple of units, which um, here over, over a couple of years, depending on which ones you're looking at. Um, about two years ago, we had zero in a couple of units. Like this year, zero seven five, zero seven three. We're at five percent success. I mean, you know, you're giving out uh, 22 tags and 20 tags, but one successful. I'm wondering if we're gaining anything by increasing those over the proposed quota. Just to this, you know, kind of general discussion, I think that it appears to me, Mr. Cox could probably answer the question, is that demand success is probably really having some interesting effects on these due to these sometimes single digits or low uh, team success <coughs> is that? <coughs> yeah, I mean, uh, success is low. Probably why you saw that. 610 first draw applicants for 4111, and then uh, the tags sold for 565. So it's been a, a probably a fairly consistent uh, group of applicants. So if you wanted to bump it up, it'd be uh, people probably, I mean, I'm almost positive we sold all leftover cow archery. That stated, I'll uh, propose a motion to approve 4111 as proposed by the department with the following modifications. And that is an increase in 061071 of 10%, 062064, 066 through 068 of 20%, 072073, 074, 075, 076077079. 081 group, the 078, 105, 107, 109 group, the 104, 108, and 121 group of 10% increase over the proposed quotas, and the rest as proposed by the department. Here's a motion by Commissioner Ray, second by Commissioner Walsh, any further discussion? Seeing none, I'll call the vote. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed? Motion passed. Aye. <coughs> Non-residents, 4251, I'm just going back.
first. It's so really reasonable. You, you proved 41, 51. Any other comments? Any public comments? If you know, I'll bring it back. Ms. Walsh. Non-resident elk antler, illegal weapon, 4251, as presented by the department. We have a motion by Commissioner Wall, seconded by Commissioner Young. Any further discussion? Seeing none, I'll call for vote. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed? Motion passed unanimous. Non-resident proposal order 4256. Commission comment? Public comment. Bring back the commission. Move to approve 40 non resident elk antler muzzleloader hunt 4256 as proposed by the department. Motion by Commissioner Rain, second by Commissioner Wallace. Any further discussion? All the vote, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? Motion passes unanimous. <coughs> Uh, the non-resident model of the large We have uh, in 221222 was increased to the residents. Any discussion? Ms. Walls? Uh, just looking at the number there, it was increased that to 14. We, we actually uh, calculate the uh, resident non resident split on the total tag statewide because we don't have a companion non resident archery hunt for every resident archery hunt. Um, so I, I think uh, with an increase of six tags, we can, we can increase it one and we try to be commensurate with the 10%. I think it would be appropriate. Sounds reasonable, and the place for that appears to be the 221-222, and therefore move to approve non-resident elk antler longbow archery hunt 4261 as proposed by the department, with the exception of 221-222, raise that from 1 to 2. Have a motion second. Any further discussion? Seeing none, I'll the vote. Favor seeing the saying aye. 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 All opposed? Motion passed unanimous. And lastly, the non resident Emberless Elk in the world of the 4280 to share our how that would be sourced with others. To approve non resident Elk Emberless in the world of the 4280. Any further discussion? Yeah, I had a question that might be relevant to this, and that would be, well, we know what our demand was, I believe, this year. What was our demand? Did we get... Uh... It's been 2005 since we've had... I, yeah, I... You know, we've had some pretty good ideas, and I assume this was based upon our demand. This was, was I, best guess. I did see uh, Monty sneak in the back room, and there is Don. Uh, I did not uh, ask them for that value. As if we were going to give 10% and we have to demand for 10%, why wouldn't we give non-resident 10%? But I, I, I don't know what that number is. I don't know. Oh, good. One, one factor on that was the cost of those tags and then were considerably different than now. Mm -hmm. Mr. Chairman, I'll second that for the sake of discussion. Thank you. Census is. He doesn't have a number on the time he's there. Okay. We got a motion. Any further discussion? All the Mr. Chairman, I just want to throw it out there. I mean, if we're going to hear it, we're going to hear it. We're going to hear it.
Just uh, if we put this off for a minute, doesn't I don't know if we can find out what the demand is, and that might change our discussion. Because somebody somewhere knows what the demand is. I don't know if we can figure that out today, or if we want to go on with envelope, come back to it, we have to answer that question. Maybe. Okay. 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 We had it back in 2005, we only sold 13 tags and they got 100 tags, or 100 tags. But it was, the cost was 1,200. I think I'm comfortable with Jeremy's motion. Okay, any further discussion? So now we'll call for vote, all in favor, see the five saying aye. Aye. All those opposed? No. Everyone will stop. Thank you. 